everybody. My name is Reno, a.k.a. Bulldog, triple seven right here in central Maine. That would be my radio identification here when I'm on this base station. Radio communications. That's my hobby. I like that. But this year, when I turned 50, decided to grow, let my beard grow. Let it grow out. Not let it go. Let it grow. That's right. I love wearing a beard. It's time to make, make, make who I am reveal to the world who I am. That's right. There's a lot of people that know me out there on the internet and locally. So, uh, the cold winter, people complaining about the cold, the ice, the snow. Boy, it's been a tough winter all the way around. I would have to say that. Myself, I grow me a beard. No worries here. <laughs> so, while we're on the subject of a beard, you probably recognized on TV or, or whatever, more people with beards. And, uh, and when you think about it in general, if you look in the history books, old photos and stuff, The beard was it, man. You had laws being passed, states being governed, and a lot of wise men, they had beards too. But after a certain period of time, the guys were shaven. They, they were sometimes being forced to shave because women said, oh, it's irritating me. Huh? <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, at some point in time, society gave a, a beard a label as a sign of laziness. To me, that's a very poor excuse so that these companies that sold razors and shaving cream and and blades and all that they could still exist but you know what they're noticing the trend and they're plastering all sorts of advertising but they're noticing the trend here that the beard never left and in one way is make a comeback just like a lot of things are making a comeback but got guys using the internet and how we use that for information the World Wide Web are connecting with other guys the next state over across the country and another country and they're realizing that having a beard a man having a beard that's normal. It's not abnormal, but it's normal. And people will adjust to it. So, let's, let's get this out of the way here for a minute. I love my beard. I'm pretty confident. I go in a grocery store. I go at work. I walk in. Me and my beard will walk in. And we're walking tall. Okay, we're not... Walking down, okay. Uh, I wonder if that guy uh, notices my beard. Uh, that woman, I'm afraid. Jeez, I don't know. person's giving me a funny look. Hey, you give, you give all the looks you want. I love my beard. And that's the way it is. Confidence, self-confidence. Okay? You go with it. Beard on. Yep. So, as like... In my hobby here, not my hobby, but radio communications, I've looked all over the internet here, and uh, Facebook, Facebook has a lot of groups, 
lot of a lot of cool groups promoting beards for people to put pictures on and stuff like that but I was looking more for a website of some sort to uh, say settle in on this my uh, my growth here my beard beard and I we can settle in and say we're gonna call this place home for a while yep and that would be the Society of Bearded Gentlemen Gary Norman he's put a lot of hard work in that site there a lot of a lot of little things there that you could do like put put those cool pictures that you have of yourself on videos hey you've done some videos on YouTube it's easy to uh, have some of those onto your page your page yes you have a my page and you can customize the background put some pictures on videos it take a little bit to realize what you can do and and when you realize the benefits and the, the community of guys and there's even gals on too because they love guys with beards too the society of bearded gentlemen has has this uh, place here right on the web beardedgents.com and Gary Norman you get my thumbs up for that man once I uh, realize what that benefited me that in return I wanted to benefit the society by sending a uh, donation you have you can do it in any amount of ways it's right on the site but that that right there hey brother you've done good I, I like your site man Gary Norman's from Florida and he carries a respectable beard too the beard of authority see and uh, that's that's where the beard means something for everybody but it's a lot of responsibility as far as uh, the way you shampoo it the choices of products that you put on it conditioner you know ladies out there the beard just doesn't hang there and looks natural from the get-go see that's where the stigma of the beard has gone because guys haven't been properly taken care of it keeping it trimmed and styled and oiled oiled well I'm not talking about uh, motorcraft oil I'm talking about stuff to keep your beard hydrated and healthy and shiny give it the luster of attraction that's the key and and have a, an aroma of pleasantness so once again you want to go on to a site there that you could feel that's home you have a beard you admire people with beards you go to the society of bearded gentlemen and that would be beardedgents.com the administrator would be Gary Norman in Florida and we would love to see you there take care you'll see me right on there Reno Acer senior and I bet when you join you'll see a whole sloop of people there welcoming you on there and asking you to be their friend take care everybody this is Reno once again known as aka Bulldog triple seven right up here in Maine Beard on and peace. We're out of here.